Bridget. Our first ever interaction was when you retweeted a hate article about me from The Nationalist while I was a Sarasota County School student. You are a reminder that some people view politics as a service to others, while some view it as an opportunity for themselves. On this board, you have spent public funds that could have been used to increase teacher pay, to change our district lines for political gain, remove books from schools, target trans and queer children, erase black history, and elevate your political career, all while sending your children to private schools because you do not believe in the public school system that you've been leading. This student is about to deliver the ultimate takedown to Bridget Ziegler, Moms for Liberty co-founder and anti-gay activist. My question is why doesn't an elected official using our money to harm our students and our teachers for her gain seem to matter as much to us as her having a threesome does. Oh, you heard correctly. Bridget is essentially an anti-gay crusader who has now admitted to having sex at least once with another woman. In fact, here she is in 2022, standing behind Ron DeSantis when he signed the Don't Say Gay bill into law. Hypocritical much? Yes. Ziegler is a co-founder of Moms for Liberty, the very group who slings groomer accusations at gay people and is obsessed with banning books about MLK and thinks a kid's book about hugging seahorses is too risque. The group's mission is clear to take over school boards and steer local politics to the far right. Ziegler has held the seat on the Sarasota County School Board since 2014. And the student made his point clear and concise. Bridget Ziegler, you do not deserve to be on the Sarasota County School Board, but you do not deserve to be removed from it for having a threesome. That defeats the lesson we've been trying to teach you, which is that a politician's job is to serve their community, not to police personal lives. So, to be extra clear, Bridget, you deserve to be fired from your job because you are terrible at your job, <laughs> not because you had sex with a woman. Well done. Very, very well done. There's more to this scandal. Her husband is, for, is Florida GOP Chairman Christian Ziegler. Mr. Ziegler is currently under investigation for an alleged sexual assault back in October. Now, police say the victim has had a previous sexual relationship with both Zieglers. Bridget Ziegler has already resigned from a different position as vice president of school boards for the Leadership Institute, an organization that provides training for conservative activists. Bridget Ziegler has not been accused of any crime, but she is engulfed in the scandal nonetheless. Her husband, Christian, is accused of raping a yet unnamed woman, which he denies. According to a search warrant affidavit first obtained by the Florida Center for Government Accountability, the Zieglers admitted to police they engaged in a threesome with his accuser more than a year ago. So who is Bridget Ziegler? Via the post, she was starting her third and final term of the Sarasota County School Board, having been reelected while running on a slate of anti-woke policies that she had adopted as co-founder of Moms for Liberty. She was also six months into another job training conservative parents and others around the country to run for school board seats, a key goal of the Virginia-based Leadership Institute, which hired her to help stop the left's terrible indoctrination. Oh, scary. Last week, Moms for Liberty posted on Twitter that the allegations were another attempt today to ruin the reputation of a strong woman fighting for America, and then they just deleted it altogether, of course. Ziegler, a member of the Sarasota County School Board, left the group altogether after its founding in early 2021. Clearly, M for L, a hate group, has seen its influence, well, waning. Candidates endorsed by the group lost a series of key school board races in 2023. The losses have prompted questions about the future of education issues as an animating force in Republican politics. Nearly 60% of the 198 school board candidates endorsed by the hate group in contested races across 10 states were defeated in 2023, according to analysis by the website Ballotpedia, which tracks elections. 